Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there, check out the options, consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show, but we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye. It's a miracle, baby! Yeah. M- 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 miracle, miracle, serves. M- 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 miracle, miracle, serves. M- 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 miracle, miracle, serves. M- m- miracle, miracle, serves. We can't have it on these problems. How we gonna stop them? Every day is the same thing. Yeah. All these unsolved issues. I guess it's official. Here we go again, the same old night. And Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration to choose. <laughs> it is May the 2nd, 2024, and today the topic is giving up. So, elephant in the room, y'all. Y'all see that your girl has a brand new theme song. Um, It's an oldie but goodie, honestly. It's not that quote-unquote, new. It's one of my songs. Uh, you may be wondering, why you switch it up? Well, because, uh, listen, YouTube was like, you, you um, whatever they was trying to say about monetization and whatnot, because it was using the previous um, theme. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to switch it then, and I'll use my song, so I know I ain't going to have no issues with that. This yes, is still the it's juice. Yes, it's still the juice. Tell them, son. Yes. This is still the juice, but my mommy's not going to do I do a little of inspiration the juice. She does <laughs> she's not gonna do that anymore. N- not that not that song. Um they never did get a chance to hear the way we used to do it, but anytime we had the previous um song, you know, I would just kinda do this little rap chant thing and then they would do it with me and all of that. But yeah, switched up the song because of the monetization, um, and they're saying that we're using someone's song without permission or whatever the case may be so to eliminate that i switched it up on both sides so yeah y'all can let me know what y'all think of that i mean hey man look it's new uh, doing something different in 2024 anyway so i guess this is another different slash new thing so nj i need to to go so i can focus so i can go ahead and get the people the juice all right come see you later all right oh a quarter nj oh that's okay. <laughs> all right so friends um yes your girl is recording rather early for for me yeah, lately i mean you know i've been kind of slacking lately um so it's still at the six so it's not back to my normal time yet but kind of um and i got some juice this morning so the the well i didn't tell y'all about yesterday not too too much report from yesterday um highlights from yesterday is me and the family went on a little walk um we were having lunch and then um i went to help out a homegirl and that was the main things that happened yesterday those were the main highlights um you know i guess i had a lot of things on my heart and mind this morning uh, one is, you guys know about a little frustration with people, like, never, like, when people don't tell you what happened to somebody and somebody passes away, you're like, what happened? Like, what happened? And I already told my family, and I done told y'all already as well, it, when, it, whenever, or if ever, whatever something happened to me, I done told the people to tell y'all what happened. So y'all don't have to worry and be like, what happened to Miracle? Um, cause that's one of the most frustrating things, man. Cause you care about people and you be like, man, what happened? Like, were they sick? Like, what it, you know, whatever, what, and I know you can't do anything about it, but anyway, that was on my heart and mind this morning, thinking about my coworker. Um, and I have no clue again, like what it could have been. I know that she, um, when we, times when we talked, she was, um, having some, some back issues and things of that nature, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, I guess with that on my mind, as well as just life stuff, um, I guess I was just acknowledging that sometimes we get in these routines, right? And I know I, I'm kind of guilty of this at, at the same time as well. You know, I've been kind of thinking about, like, one thing I love about the International Dream Team is that 
you know, I know that things is going and flowing, right? Um, for example, I know the newsletter is going to come out every week um, because of Elizabeth. So shout out to Elizabeth. I know that the talk show is going to come out every Friday because Sammy's on it. You know what I mean? Like, I do my part to make sure we still have content going and flowing so they can do their parts. And, and it's, it, it's become so routine now where it's like, you know, sometimes a lot of stuff is happening without me. You know what I mean? And then sometimes I'm like, oh, let me... Make sure I send this or that. Sometimes I do it at a particular time, but if I forget to do it at a particular time, you know, when I remember, I'm like, oh, this might throw off their routine. So sometimes I guess routine can be good, right? But then that's, there's other times where it feels just like mundane, you know what I mean? And, and it's just like, oh, I'm doing this again, or oh, I'm going to work again. And sometimes people that live life like that, it can get a bit much sometimes because either we like it depends on the type of person you are like if you're somebody that likes routine and likes doing the same thing all the time da, 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 then you might be fine with stuff like that but then if you're somebody that likes the little spark like something a little different you know things like that then it could be a little bit like draining to get in a routine situation and so with that being said there's a lot of reasons why people quote unquote give up right um and it could be about anything right we give up on life we give up on family we give up on friends things of that nature and i think also because i was reflecting on um some conversations i've been having with um some different friends and whatnot knowing that you know sometimes we it, it don't even be us in our situation it can be again the enemy and what he's doing in our minds as well that can get us on this um path of, of wanting to give up right give up on life give up on again um God. yeah give up on the lord you know and because sometimes, again, we feel like, you know, is it worth it and stuff like that? I mean, because when we're living our life and they say we're in a down season, whatever case may be, um, depending on your heart and mind will determine, again, how you handle it. You know, um, I believe, again, being a believer and things like that, that does shift your heart and mind towards focusing on the Lord versus fo focusing on your own uh, opinions about what's going on in your life. But again, that can be a... A task, you know what I'm saying? That could be a hard thing to do, um, especially when you are again either going through a routine and it's it's happening over and over again, or on the flip side again, the enemy is just really attacking your heart and mind. And so, um, I guess as somebody that's kind of had a little taste of both things over the past few months, and I've been open and honest with you guys about those different things, um, I just kind of wanted to address this, you know, just in case anybody is at the point where they feel like they are ready to give up. Um, hopefully today's juice will encourage you and inspire you with that. So let me go ahead and share with these verses that stood out to me. Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So, I mean, you know, honestly, there's no excuse for giving up. I mean, I know that um, it, this might be pulp, but anybody that has had like suicidal uh ideation and things of that nature um definitely i i feel for you i don't want it to i don't want what i say next to be taken like like i don't have empathy or something like that i'm just sharing i just wanted to share that i came across some verses that like seem to address that directly um and they seem to be a little bit harsh in, in a way um or said a little bit harsh in regards to um i know one verse i came across this morning was talking about you know, um, why should you, I'll just say the nice part. The nice part of it was like, why should you, uh, die before your time or something like that? Um, but the rest of that verse is kind of like a little bit, ooh, a little, little bit of pulp, a little testy, um, with that particular person. But again, I don't know, like, you know, where we all are in life, but sometimes again, we get to the point of giving up that we are comfortable or the idea of us giving up on our life becomes an option for people and you know and because we're just so uh either bogged down by what we're currently going through or we let that thing um control our our minds and our thoughts and things of that nature and so what i hope is that again um you know we don't lean into that you know don't lean onto your own understanding this is why we should be again submitting our hearts and minds to the lord and and um taking on the mind of christ more so than the mind of uh our flesh um, let me give a shout out to Glamma. Yes, my mama uh, is tuning in live. She says, good morning. So good morning to mama. And then she also said that was her favorite scriptures. All right. Listen, look, look, come through, come through. Let me give you guys another one. Second Chronicles 
15 and 7. It says, but you take courage. Do not let your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded. You know, again, this is two promises here, man. If you really look at it, it said, if you don't give up, you're going to reap. Um, you know, so don't go weary and doing good. And then the second one here is telling us again that you're going to be rewarded. So at the end of the day, again, if you push through, if you keep going, if you don't give up, there is fruit, right? There is blessings around the corner. But a lot of times, again, we just sort of focused on where we are right now that we, we lose sight of, you know, uh, again, what God can do and, um, or the possibilities of what God can do. Um, so again, I hope that this encourages us and inspires us to keep going. Just make, make it another day. Focus on today. Like I talked about that a few days ago, focus on today and take each day, one day at a time. And then you'll start to see again, things shift and change. I just told you guys yesterday that I felt like, uh, you know, things have shifted, you know, in my own life. Um, because again, I, I felt like there was this little season of the past few months has been a little dark, you know what I mean? A lot of different frustrations and temptations and all kinds of things on every side, right? But then now, um, you know, I can't say that I'm in that same headspace, you know? And so that's the thing. What if I had to stayed in, you know, my heart and mind stayed in that, that, that old oh, woe was me or that, that down part of my um journey for the fir first part of 2024 like if I had to stay my mindset stayed there and I gave up you know would I be here today you know sharing and 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 trying to share hope and things of that nature like would I have any hope at all like would I see any of the blessings that God is doing with me for me and through me if I had have given up like so you know again I hope this encourages us and inspire us to keep going I got one more verse y'all it's first Corinthians 16 and 13 it says be watchful Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Um, yeah, I mean, this this is what we got to do. You know, um, if you don't know, again, what to do, this just gave, like, a, a prime example. It says stand firm in the faith. Again, focus on what the truth is. Focus on, um, you know, again, the things of God versus the things on earth. And then, you know, it's also telling us to act like men. What are men supposed to be? They're supposed to be strong. They're supposed to be brave. They're supposed to be valiant and all these different things. And so, you know, let's focus on doing that. And then again, you'll start to see fruit. But again, I think sometimes we just stay in that, that, oh, you know, that woe is me and oh, things are never going to be better. Like if you keep proclaiming that over you and your life, then that's what it's going to be, you know? Um, I do have an another verse. I thought that was the last one, but I got one more for you guys. And it's Matthew 11 and 28. It says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. At the end of the day, we can cast our cares to the Lord, and he can be the one to help us get to that, that, that next level, help us to push through and to not give up. Um, I came across this this image this morning that was um it was like a cartoon image and it was like on, on one side of the the image it was like a door and in between the door there was Jesus on one side and a, and a person on the other side the person was saying oh I, I'm tired of my life and then Jesus was on the other side saying I will give you my life so I mean this is what he's here to do this is what he came to do he made a way for each and every one of us so we don't have to you know um be a quote-unquote slave to sin and then die in that um and things of that nature he gave us again life and life more abundantly and so you know don't give up friend at the end of the day if you don't hear anything else i said this morning i hope this encourages you and inspires you to not give up make it another day push through and yeah that's ultimately the juice this morning now here is the bible verse of today it's colossians 4 and 2 it says continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. Hey, Mama, I pray you guys too. supposed to say that because uh, you have a different song. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, y'all. And I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Visit chatholybible.com to download the Bible Chat and Study app today. Embark on a transformative journey of faith. Your connection with scripture starts now. Mm -hmm.